Scorpio. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Thank you guys so much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right on into your messages. Um, Yeah, actually, this is just going to be, I guess, maybe a bonus or an extra reading here for the month of November. Okay, Scorpio. And just to take, uh, this is going to take another look at the energies that are present for you during this time. All right, this is for all placements of Scorpio, or if you're just here and you're interested in the energies for Scorpio. Okay, so your central energy here is the King of Cups, Scorpio. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you, Scorpio, sitting right on your throne as yourself here, the King of Cups. That's you. Okay. I could take it as this being um, a pretty emotional time for you, Scorpio. Many of you are, are, are celebrating birthdays during this month. So happy birthday to you. Um, I do feel like this could be quite an emotional time for you. Um, it may not necessarily be heavy. I mean, we'll see what's coming out around here, but I definitely do feel like Scorpio, you're going to be very much within your emotions, within yourself. OK, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I don't see this. I see this. I see this as a good thing, especially with it being the king. OK, um, this is you just taking an emotional. I'm sorry, you taking a mature look at your emotions and, um, you know, auditing them as a court uh, and auditing them and editing them as according to whatever situation is going on. Ooh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. Oh, look at there, the sun. Oh, yeah. Okay, the sun. The el Yes, very honest, very direct, very upfront, very um, blunt, right, is the energy that I feel here. The next card being, oh, and people don't like that. Hey, Scorpio, how many times has that happened to you in your life where you've, you've been very clear, upfront, direct, honest, um, and it may have just rubbed people the wrong way. And maybe even people in the past have just felt like, okay, I'm not about, I'm not about to deal with Scorpio because they don't want to be put up against like a mirror. You know, they don't want to be told about themselves. Well, it feels like you may be dealing with that this month, Scorpio. Okay. Um, and so maybe this King of Cups being right here can represent a little bit of Maybe a little bit of solitude. Because after all, this king is kind of stranded on this rock out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay. We do have a boat back there, but, you know, it's leaving, right? Or is it coming? But either way, it feels like you are just isolated. Okay. And you may be just feeling a ways because, quite frankly, nobody understands your approach which you, I guess, you feel like it's being honest. You feel like it's, well, everyone wants this directness, right? But, you know, maybe not everybody wants that, or at least not the people that you were around, All right? So at the base of your reading here is the Justice card. Wow. Justice and then the Hierophant. Ah, uh, I see. Now I see. Now I see. So Scorpio, it feels like you are maybe in some sort of leadership role. I feel maybe some sort of teaching role um, or maybe you were in some sort of training position. I don't know. It feels like that. Um, maybe you were in or are in like a uh, like you maybe you're a leader like at your local church or a place of worship. You know, you're a leader there. Um and it just goes to, it just makes me feel like maybe your style of leadership is just, it went unappreciated. Um, but at the same time, it's exactly what the people need. I don't know. This is so weird and it feels very intense. <laughs> it, it really does, Scorpio, because I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to put a loose example on it so you guys can really take it however it is. 
but that's just pretty much the, the, the gist of it, it feels. So it definitely feels like you are, it feels like you maybe have judged the situation. Someone asked for your opinion about something and then they didn't like your opinion. Yeah. They asked for your opinion, they valued your opinion, but when the, your opinion maybe went against uh, their um, their mental, right? When it, as soon as it contradicted what they were about, then all of a sudden now Scorpio isn't nice. Your hopes and fears here is the fool card. So <laughs> Scorpio, you don't have no problems with starting over or with, you know, just starting fresh somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like it feels like you're not really worried about anybody who's walking away from you or who feels as though they can't uh, get with what, get with, get with whatever you put out in the situation. Um, it feels as though you're not worried about that. Like they can walk away, whatever you said it, you can take it or leave it and whatever. I'll start over somewhere else if I need to. Okay. Um, I do get this feeling though, Scorpio, that on the other side of that, How lonely does that get, though? Okay, or maybe how old can that get? Okay, um, so there's just a little bit of that. And I kind of feel like it kind of goes like this, only because with the scales being here at the bottom of your um, reading, Scorpio. Oh, Ace of Cups. Look at what you walk into. Look at what you walk into because... It's, so it's like really the bad apples or the bad seeds or whatever in your mind, they leave, but it makes room for uh, something else. It makes room for you to be able to start fresh or maybe even start alone, I kind of feel as well. Um, and I do feel like there is some sort of renewed passion that you begin to have, Scorpio, uh, for something that you love, okay? And I also get this feeling where... Um, so I don't get like this feeling of love, like relationships at all, but I do get this feeling of like you just having a strong love for something that you end up doing. And I feel like you may end up doing it on your own. Under the deck, we have the six of swords. You may, yeah, you feel like it's just less stressful if you just decide to just do something on your own. Forget whatever. You guys want to walk away from me? Fine. That's all right. I know what I got and I believe in what I have. And I know that I'm going to make it and I'm going to succeed. And that's exactly what it is that you do. Look at that, the temperance card. So, yeah, it's it's definitely all in you, Scorpio. I don't think that you need to be concerned about anybody else. Um, because when they walk away from you, it's only because they just couldn't handle how honest and how truthful you are. We got boots, long journey. Yeah. And then we also have apples, prosperity, and abundance. So in the end, Scorpio, you end up winning. You end up gaining. Okay. Um, you end up succeeding. And that's only through, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's only through you having the strength to carry on, even though maybe everyone that was with you walked away from you. And with this Sun card and this Ace of Cups card being on the same row, this is just really, really beautiful for me. I'm not even going to lie to you because it just feels like because your intentions were pure in the first place, in the end, you still end up finding something or being in something that's also pure and giving back to you. I'm going to leave the message there, Scorpio. I feel like I've said enough. Hopefully you understood it, <laughs> but thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate you again, and I'll see you all in the next message. Take care.